All right. Good morning. Oh no. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be speaking about a revelation that God gave me about creation, which is really awesome. But yeah. Um, personally, the topic of creation has always kind of been something that I've either like avoided or I've kind of not really spoken about because it's a bit of a touchy subject, especially um, in like the area that I work in, the secular um, industry. So talking about that kind of subject. Yeah, Jeremy, I can't hear you. In that way, it's just kind of been a bit odd because we live in a world where faith is shattered by physical evidence and where people see God as an overbearing um, figure of power and science is constantly working to debunk our faith. So speaking about creation and God's heart for humanity can be a bit of a touchy subject. So cool. um, but yeah, we live in a world with so many conflicting perspectives as well when it comes to how we ended up here. So when I started looking into this devotion about uh, creation, I was happy to receive the revelation that I did. Um, and it was very life-bringing for me um, and it brought a lot of personal clarity. So I'm hoping that it can for you guys as well. Um, as some of you may know, a popular belief um, of creation is that we came to existence through the Big Bang. And if you don't know what the Big Bang is, um, it is uh, scientists have theorized that the universe was started through it. Um, Charles, uh, Charlie Wood says that the Big Bang can also refer to the brief um, observable universe itself, and that it's the moment that something changed, kickstarting the events that led to today. Um, but for me, it just seemed a bit like random and uninspired. So, yeah, I, I couldn't sit comfortable with the fact, the fact that we are all here randomly just by chance and that all things happening around us today are for no real purpose or reason. Uh, so before I started my devotion, I prayed into it and I asked God to just kind of like give me new eyes when I was like reading. So I started reading Genesis because obviously that tells the story of creation. And I was instantly caught by uh, one thing, and that was the constant use of the term let there, specifically the word let. And when I was reading it in context of Genesis, it um, seemed like such a considerate word. Um, it wasn't harsh, it wasn't thoughtful. And I believe that it shows the true nature of God, especially his heart towards us. Um, and in Genesis 1 verse 12, it says, God produced vegetation according to its kind showing that there was a deliberate nature to what he was doing and that it still is random, that there is purpose to it and that there's a reason to everything that he's done. The thing that really hit home for me was verse 27 to 31, which read, uh, which reads, so God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit and seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all creation that moves along the ground, everything that has breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And and it was so. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. And there was evening and then there was morning, the sixth day. God created um, humanity, he blessed us and he gave us the meaning over this land. Everything that he created was good. But then when he introduced us to the picture, it was very good. It's all the things that he created working together in harmony and he created this land so that we could rule. For me, the big takeaway from this devotion was the fact that everything was intentional. We all have a place, we all have a calling. It's not just by, it's not just by chance and it's not random. I believe that we shouldn't be wasting our time here, letting every day go by, but we should be intentional with spending time with God and his creation, finding out what he wants for us, what his divine plan is for us and pursuing it. If he can be intentional with creation and creating us, then he can be intentional with working out the calling that he has for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you.